lecture, we will discuss about products of vectors. There are two types of product of vectors, scalar product and vector product. The first one, scalar product. When two vectors are multiplied to give a scalar quantity, the product of vectors is called scalar product. And that is mathematically a dot b is equal a b cos of theta. It is called scalar product because of getting a scalar or number after taking the product of both vectors. And uh, scalar product is also called dot product because of the dot notation that indicates it. Consider two vectors, A and B, and place both tail to tail each other. In first figure, there is a orthogonal projection of vector B in the direction of vector A. Hence, we can write mathematically as A dot B is equal A B cos of theta. Now in the second figure, this time we take the projection of vector A in the direction of vector B. And for this case, we have B dot A is equal to B A cos of theta. In the first case, we have a magnitude of A vector. In the second case, we have a magnitude of B vector. In the first case, we have a component of B vector in, in the direction of A vector. In the second case, we have a component of A vector in the direction of B vector, either keeping the A first or B first, and then taking the product of that vector with the other vector, we will get same answer. So this means that the scalar product is commutative. In the definition of a dot product, the direction of an angle theta does not matter. And uh, theta can be measured from either of the two vectors to other, because cos of theta is equal to cos of minus theta. If there is a 90 degree angle between both vectors, then cos of 90 degree tends to zero, so we will get a dot b is equal to zero. In case if uh, both vectors are parallel or anti-parallel to each other, in that case, a dot b is equal a b cos of zero. Cos of zero tends to one, so we will get a b. And in case of cos of 180 degree, we will get minus one, so we will get a dot b is equal minus a b. If we take a scalar product of a vector with itself, we will get the square of the magnitudes of that vector. A dot A is equal A cos of zero is equal A square. Taking this definition and apply it to the unit vectors product, where you can see I dot I, J dot J, and K dot K is equal one. And uh, if you take the product of I unit vector with the J unit vector, or I unit vector with the K unit vector, or K unit vector with the J unit vector because of 90 degree angle between them. So we will get zero. Now by taking the scalar product of two vectors and write the both vectors in their components. So we can write A dot B is equal A X I cap plus A Y J cap plus A Z K cap. And similarly for the B vector, and by taking the product now, so we will get a dot b is equal a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z, where this is number, this is also a number, this is also a number. So as a, as a result, we will get a number. And uh, by taking now, if we want to find the angle between both vectors, so simply we will write a dot b as a b cos of theta is equal to a x b x plus a y b y plus a z b z. And from here we can say cos of theta is equal, this term divided by AB. So this is how we can take the uh, theta between both vectors. The physical example is uh, a work, which is W is equal to F dot D. F is a vector, D is a vector. So by taking the dot of both, we get FD cos of theta. This two, possibilities. Either the dot product could be a negative or a positive. So if we are taking the angle between 0 to 90 degree, in that case, we will get a positive dot product. If we are taking the angle between 90 and 180 degree, we will take a negative dot product. This means that in the case of work, either we have a positive, there is a possibility to have a positive work, and there is also a possibility to have a negative work. So in case of positive work, it means that, uh, that the force and uh, the displacement 
are in the same direction. So in this case, when work is done by anybody, that will that is say that would be considered a positive work. If you apply the force on a body, and this means if you apply a force on a body and body moves in a horizontal surface, in that case, F force and uh, displacement act in the forward path. And so we get a positive work. Now, for the negative work, we will say negative work is done if force and displacement are opposite to each other. For example, work is done by the gravity on the rocket when the rocket is going upwards. There's also a possibility that uh, work is negative. So, uh, sorry, work is zero. That means, for example, if you try to push a wall and uh, you apply a force on the, on the wall, but wall doesn't move. So it means distance is zero. So in that case, case simply you have a zero work. Another, take another example. For example, if uh, we hold a, a bag in our, our hand and we stand at some point, then uh, we actually holding the bag with some force which is balanced out with the force of gravity, which is acting on the back. So in that case, again, the displacement is zero. So work will be zero. Now the vector product, when we have a two vectors and we multiply both and we get a vector quantity, then we say that, that uh, this product is a vector product or cross product and we mathematically write A cross B is equal AB sine of theta N cap, where N cap is a unit vector. This means, for example, if we have a two vectors, A vector and B vector, and uh, by now, if we just uh, sweep our right hand fingers from A to B, then thumb will show the direction of new vector, and the new vector is A cross B. And uh, N cap is uh, the unit vector in the direction of this new vector A cross B. So this is how we can write A cross B is equal A B sine of theta N cap. Now, what will happen if we now sweep our fingers from B to A, and this time our thumb will show the direction of B cross A in opposite direction to the first case. So in this case now we have a direction below and where we have a unit vector now supposed to be minus n cap. So this is the case now for we have mathematically b cross a is equal minus b a sine of theta minus n cap. You can also write m cap or something else. I have put the minus just want to show you the opposite direction of unit vector with respect to this unit vector. So from here we get uh, information that a cross B is equal minus B cross A. So this means cross product is not commutative. Now if two vect vectors are perpendicular to each other, then uh, in that case, we will get a maximum magnitude. For example, A cross B is equal AB sine of 90 degree. So sine of 90 degree is one. So we will get A cross B is equal AB and cap unit vector. If both vectors are parallel or anti-parallel to each other, so in that case, we will get a null vector. For example, A cross B is equal AB sine of zero. Sine of zero is zero, so we will just get a null vector. And in case of sine of 180 degree, we again will get a null vector. So now taking the scalar product of uh, any vector with itself, we will get a square of its magnitude. We will just simply get a zero. So that because sine of zero is zero, so we will get A cross A is equal to zero. Sorry, I have some written mistake over here. So by keeping this definition, we can say A I cross I, J cross K, J J and K cross K is equal to zero because there is angle of zero. So we will just simply get zero. Now, if we wanna take I cross J and J cross K, and k cross i. So in that case, we will take care of cycle order. So in case of i cross j, we will get k. In case of 
k cross i we will get j and in case of j cross k we will get i now taking the cross product of both vectors uh, and uh, this time we want to write the vectors in their components form so by taking the now the cross simply we can write in a magnitude form and that is a cross b is equal to i j k a x a y a z b x b y b z here the magnitude of a cross b is equal to the area of parallelogram where a and b are as uh, like uh, two adjacent sides of that parallelogram uh, we have here a physical example of a vector product and that is torque torque ta is equal r cross f let's have a uh, let's have a take a coordinate system like x in this direction y in this direction for example we want to apply the torque on door and please let's uh, take the top view of the door suppose we are uh, on the ceiling on the uh, on on the ceiling and we want to see the movement of the door so in case when we apply the force at uh, exactly at this point where you can see the uh, lever arm or you can say r is uh, almost zero so in that case if r is zero so torque will be zero so in this case there will be no rotation and if we now apply the force exactly parallel to the lever arm then in that case also there is no possibility to rotate the door or open the door so because in that case we have a sign of uh, angle zero and sign of zero you know zero but if we apply the force now perpendicular to the lever arm so in that case you can see that uh, we can easily open the door or close the door 